Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. On this one, we're going to be reacting to Reacher Season 2, Episode 5, called Burial. Um, recap. So, while the team were combing through all the evidence that they stole from, or well, they didn't steal it, they did actually steal it from New Age, they come across a, a folder that shows this Swan is, an, is one of the assistants under Langston. He's part of the security team. team, yeah. He's part of the security team, and everyone that they've encountered so far is part of the security team um, and they also find a file with a government defense contract called little wing um, they then decide that they want to track down a legislator um, and they fly to boston uh, it's kind of like entrapment they kind of they kind of get him to do some dodgy stuff he then later gets arrested uh, and then we see Finley come back in. Mm. He's he's the arresting officer. It's actually um, the senator's uh, a senator's legislator aide. It's, it's yeah. his aide. Um, it's his aide. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Um, um, and they yeah, get out of good, him. That, that was a good they, cameo they, from Finley, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, it was good to see him back mm. in this. Um, but yeah, they basically get it out of that aide that New Age have discovered a way of creating these missiles, and they never miss their targets, basically. Mm. Um, like they'll even circle this... back kind of thing yeah it looked like they've missed and then they'll kind of come yeah. around and, 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 and hit the target um, and while all this is happening um, Mr. AM goes to a plastic surgeon and basically kills him and his receptionist to steal his identity mm. so he can fly to New York um, and once Reacher and the team have got all that information they get jumped they're like kind of hungry and they get jumped at this diner by all these bikers mm. um, and Reacher kind of, after defeating them or basically kicking the shit out of them, pulls out the phone, calls the last number, obviously it's Langston um, and he basically says to him like, I really want to throw you out of a helicopter. So mm. I hope we get to see that at some point. I think you missed a bit with Marlo Burns. So it wasn't just the security team, it was the director of operations on New Age as well. She's missing as well, yeah. missing, but her house uh dixon and um neely went to check it out uh the stuff missing but the stuff not missing yeah that's the, i think uh, the money just, bag yeah there's weird. a money bag it's it's not full but it's not empty um the toothbrush and toothpaste are missing jewelry's still there and it's just yeah, all over the place the lights are still on i don't know i can't yeah. remember if the stove was still on but nah. it's just a mishmash of I can't figure out whether it's kidnapping or she's run away she's run away or... um also you yeah. missed a bit there's a flashback where we get to see an operation uh oh, yeah, where they with the to take the drugs the kilo of heroin the kilo yeah, of heroin. yeah. The drugs. and there's a there's a kilo missing and I can't remember who to remind them to check Swan's car again but they do eventually check Swan's car and he's the first one who puts his hand underneath and pulls out the kid. Oh, was one that stuck there. And Neely's like, hmm. So There's she's suspicious of... of him. Reacher yeah. isn't. But fast forward to uh, the present day where they're all like, he's a bit, he he's be... a bit dodgy. Yeah. And Reacher's like, no, it's one. It's not like that. And they're like, yeah, you know, just because he's in the 110th, maybe there's you could have made a mistake hiring him, basically. No, yeah. no he thinks yeah. that they, he, they, uh, was it Neely or Dixon? Can't remember saying that you want it. You want to believe he's innocent because it would mean that you hired someone wrong and you'd feel guilty about all the people that he's yeah. killed. When it's not on you, it shouldn't. That shouldn't be on you. Um, I can't figure out whether this guy's dodgy or not either. Um, I think this, yeah, it's kind of like the, it's kind of like the, the, the CEO or the, the operations because it's the. I've forgotten her name already, but it's like it, it's kind of like that. It's like, is he dirty? Is he not? Is she missing? Isn't? It? It's kind of like they're putting, they're giving you snapshots of little nuggets and saying, okay, look, we'll let you decide at this stage mm. whether he's dirty. Most people like me would just be like, yeah, he's dirty. <laughs> it's like, it could be dirty because everything sort of points to pointing. it. He's not dead. He's missing. Yeah. He yeah. let his dog die, but he's part of the hundred tenth. Then, I mean, it's a group that isn't. They haven't shown any of them to be shady before, yeah. so it's kind of mishmash. You never, you don't know what's happening. Director of uh, Marlo Burns, the director of ops. Yeah, we actually have no idea what's happening. Where? So let's see what happens in this episode. Um, episode five, burial. Let's check it out. Is that a Donald's place? 
Yeah, that's not it. Oh, and his kids. <laughs> Grab the burner phone, no contact with anyone, not your parents. Oh, he's definitely not your He's getting them to bail. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're dealing with some pretty bad guys, but. I got the gang. Fine. <laughs> Reach is just sitting there like, what is going on? Someone asked me back in the day where I thought you'd wind up. I'd have predicted a slow death from gonorrhea and a half dozen <laughs> girlfriends fighting over an 04 Miata. He's probably, <laughs> probably that, that kind of life. Neely and Dixon just got to the Denver plant. Good. Maybe they get a hold of those missiles and your family won't have to be gone long. Oh, oh my God. Oh, He's God. just walking around just bashing everyone. Nurse, this is from me. How far you can get into a place if you just... Act like you're supposed to be there. Yeah. Carry a clipboard. Didn't question yeah, none weird. of it. Did you still, like, ask for identification or anything? We're here to take a look at little wing shoulder fired launchers and missiles, the specs, the manufacturing protocols, the order and delivery schedule. We joke if this guy doesn't ask for identification either. Yeah. Ten minutes ago. That's the delivery schedule. Oh shit, it's already left. We just went out the door. All 650 of them. Oh shit. 650. Here's the paperwork. 650 at 100k. Yo, they need to bounce. Go, move, move. Well, then the delivery address must be on there, right? Yeah, but if they can left 10 minutes ago, they should be able to... Catch them up. Yeah. You need an extra set of hands? What I need is your truck. Oh, Ooh. shit. And so that's... this is how they're going to basically get... Steal the, um... Yeah. And... Do that weapons trade deal of well, okay. Was this a bit earlier? I remember when AM first met that guy and it was like there's gonna be two the weapons will be here and there's gonna yeah. be two stops where you might get stopped yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, well yeah. <clears throat> Do you remember that? I think that was the first episode or second episode. I think these are these are the only two points that you can take it or something. We're in business. Yeah. Selling to the bad guys. I might be upset I killed the driver, though. No, they won't care as long as they get paid. Never underestimate the power of greed. Switch the trailers and get on the road. Okay, now if the Dixon and... Wait here. Zari Mahmoud, never been caught. No photos. He's a ghost. Ideology. No political or religious affiliations. His only god is money. Yeah, that's what it seems like, innit? He just cares about the... Yeah, he's got no allegiance to anyone. Which makes him... More professional than anyone, I guess? Someone as cautious as AM would use bear bonds. If issued in large enough amounts, you can carry an untraceable fortune in a briefcase. So no way AM lets anyone deliver payment but him. That's where he's vulnerable. Just like your brother. Oh shit, they work with Joe. I don't even know what he looks like. Back when we worked the case, I asked Joe some questions of the financial side of things. He said the same thing you just did. Don't let this guy slip through our fingers again. <laughs> AM and everyone working sure, with him until will be the next prosecuted time. to the fullest extent of the law. Unless we kill him all first. <laughs> you do. You're aware you're talking to <laughs> him like to Homeland Security. That. Yeah, he didn't have to add that. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I think they worked I think they worked with his yeah. brother. Um, they all would, but... Just like his brother. <laughs> oh god. Alright. Just this is too, this is too open. This is going to shoot the car up, aren't they? Yeah, they need to reverse. This is a hijacking. Well done, Neely. Any chance you're wrong? Nope. <laughs> nope. 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 No, no, no. Oh no, he's escaping. The thing is, like you said, he can't get far. They've just got to take these guys out. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. That was brilliant. <laughs> Look at me shut run, it. Run. Absolutely <laughs> shut it. Oh no. Oh no. no That's not how you shoot. That is idiotic. But they, this... they shot the tire on the thing as well. Do me a favor, grab the manifest. We need the license plate off of it. So we've lost that truck. Essentially. Yeah. yeah. Essentially, yeah. There's no way of chasing it. I like how the clipboard survived. A new age truck with all 650 missiles in it was hijacked. Tony Swan's alive. Swan's still working for new age. According to the bill of lading, Swan personally signed off on the shipment before he left the factory. Shit. Oh, right. Okay, so that explains why he's missing. It's a digital thumbprint. Then they forced him. Screecher. Um, he's dirty. Yeah. Yeah. He's dirty. I know you want to believe Swan's clean, boss. 
We all do. But things look the way they look. It's not your fault. He's not that Tony Swan. He might have actually always been that Tony Swan. Thing is, is yeah, it puts him. He's gonna have to get out of his own head to get away from this. Yeah. See what you got, GI Joe. GI Joe, more like Mighty Joe Young. <laughs> He's a beast. Our supplier can get you all the H you can move from an overseas source that's in no position to negotiate terms. Oh, they're undercover to try and yeah trap them. I came to you. I know you. you. Shit. Volume, which makes it worth my while. I don't think so. Craigslist, dude. You bought my acoustic. Could still be a civilian yeah, yeah, yeah. when he went to buy it. Wait a minute, when this guy bought it, he was in an army cop uniform. Shit, uh, made, uh, you made, you made, you made, you made. Then he'd help. Shit. Careful. Oh my god, reach his eyes. He's like, oh, we just. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what the hell did he kill him with? Look out. I don't know. It didn't even look like a. <laughs> Did Swan just jump in front of him? Yeah. Yeah. I owe you one. Okay, now we know where Reach is, so he's... Hell-bent on... Just... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And not admitting or thinking that it could yeah. be dodgy. If these problems persist, there may have to be a price adjustment. Some of Mr. Swan's old friends are causing us problems, but it's nothing we can't handle. We need to see Swan. This is another facility. Where is this? The little wing chips will be ready to install the missiles by the time you get here. And Mr. Swan's associates will be taken care of. That plan's already Sure, involved. that's what you think. But yeah, you're right. This seems like a completely different facility. Yeah, it doesn't look like a normal... Dramatic. But you might feel comfortable among the gorillas. Ha 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 ha. Malcolm Lavoy. He prefers just Reacher. No. He has to call me Mr. <laughs> Make up your mind, Reacher. <laughs> you know my legislative director, Mr. Boyd? Yeah. He's the one who likes cocaine. <laughs> Incident a couple of years ago in Margrave, Georgia? The official story was that it was all the work of a rookie cop and an out-of-town veteran. Where is he going with all this? I think he's getting at the fact that we know... You may, be a think, you may be a drifter, but we know everything that you've been doing. Yeah, true. I know it was you in Margrave, Mr. Reacher. I want you to do the same thing for the situation we have here. Oh. Military and civilian aircraft could be in danger due to Little Wing. Now, I can only assume that means the terrorists are interested in the attack. The people who want this weaponry can never be allowed to have it. Get rid of the bad guys, keep my hands clean. Washington, we call that a win-win. So it's, it's his, he's got a motive behind it as well. I just avoided the typical red tape that does nothing but cause the delays that cost lives. And lined your pockets in the process. Again, win-win. Is this a bad guy? It's too good to be true, this. It's not a bad guy. Leave no man left standing. No one left to endanger oh. life. He's telling 50, him to get 50, rid of right? the bad guys. Yeah, because he doesn't want to get his hands dirty, but he's the one that buried the information in the legislation in the first place. Yeah. So who's... I get what he's saying, but it still was like, you can't... You're, you buried that information knowing that people wouldn't read it and why would why did he have to go through that red tape why would if he why would he have had to go through that red tape would they have said no would it have been outvoted in, in creating Could that well yeah if, if it does get sold to the wrong people hey, then they can start shooting jolly green giant stuff that too yet no jolly green giant why the coroner finally released Franz's body funerals tomorrow that's going to be tough i don't know what reacher should do there Wherever the weapons were supposed to go. In South Korea, according to the documents we saw. Three to four weeks for a cargo ship to get there from the West Coast. No one knows the weapons are missing till they open it up on the other end. And too much time has gone by to chase yep. any sort of lead. Since 9-11, they've kept a pretty close watch on New York skies. And we know AM's cautious. So, him, by sea? Private? Oh, private, yeah, that's a good point. We need to know exactly where the missiles are headed so we can intercept them. So when the money changes hands, AIM will be there and so will the people who killed our guys. Take them all out in one hit. I want you to have this too. This is mine. San Jerome. He's the patron saint of kids whose moms and dads go to heaven. You think Russo lost his parents when he was young as well? Maybe. You need anything, you call me. Day or night. He is a good guy. Uh, Why are you softy. giving toys to my dead friend's son? Excuse me? Really? Cozy up to the kid? Score points with mom. Oh, come on. 
I'm here to pay my respects. Why did a biker gang take a run at me in Boston last night? Because you're an asshole. Possibly. <laughs> Maybe it's because you're the only person I told we were going there. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. You're trying to say that I'm bent? Not trying to say anything. Haven't we established this? He's not bent. Yeah. I know what he's going through. I know what it is to look out the window every night and pray that the next set of headlights coming down the street is your father's car, even though you know it'll never happen. Yeah. See, I, he's, he sees yeah. himself. My father was a cop, a good one, and he refused to be on the take, and they killed him for it. Come on, Richard, don't be a dickhead. But I, like I said, I don't, he's not... I thought he's, we've proved that he's not a you bad cop. You call me dirty one more time, and I don't care if we're standing in front of the statue of the Holy Mother. I will give you that beating that I owe you right here. <laughs> I like the fight that this guy has. He really hates being called dirty. I was running those security names from New Age, all former NYPD, all from the third precinct. Shit. They took early retirement and the charges went away. Then they all got cushy jobs at New Age and they hired all their pals along. Whole team Just an entire cars. precinct. The entire you know, security like... team, security department at a tech. Aerospace tech. Their places were empty, just like Tony Swan's. You so want to call somebody else. dirty? First look in your own backyard. Ooh. He's got a point. I think that's the, I think that's the only time he's got one up on Reacher, isn't he? Mm. Does this still happen if you are ex-military? I know when you're in the military it happens, but if you're ex-military, I don't think. No idea. Get down! Oh my oh, god, shit. at the funeral? Well, everyone's gonna be there, right? The closest we're gonna get is not enough! Gonna have to flank him. Flank him, flank him. I'll draw their fire, you take him out. You're a great shot. But you're a slow runner. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, damn! Oh, that was a good shot. <laughs> Fuck this. Oh, we should immediately <laughs> shut it. <laughs> what is it with these guys that are just running away? I was kind of hoping Reacher would just fly out of a bush, but... Um... Get it! Okay, right, so here we go. Now we have a chase. You got a rat in your house, so that's for sure. Oh, we think some cops from... The current the precinct. Yeah. There's a curb. Jump the curb. You climb out of my ass. Oh my god, it's like a it's like a buddy <laughs> cop movie. <laughs> I thought this was supposed to be a high speed pursuit. <laughs> it is like a buddy cop movie, you're right. Stop busting my balls. <laughs> you wanna drive? Yes. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, Oh, that was easy. How does Reese not have a broken foot? Fucking menace, you know that? Drive <laughs> like you're blind. <laughs> no, these two, man. Don't shoot! I'm done! Okay? I'm done! Some sort of hired hitman these guys are. We take him in, he lawyers up and doesn't talk until it's too late and a terrorist has 650 chances to take down a commercial airliner. So what do you want me to do? Look the other way. Oh, come on, man. Oh, shit. What? I'm not going to waste my time with enhanced interrogation techniques. I'm just going to squeeze the life out of you. Oh, my God. That's so Thank scary. You. <laughs> Take you and your team down and get out of there before anyone knew what was going on. Easy payday for a couple professional hitters. Langston wouldn't give you all the cash up front. Where are you supposed to meet him to get the rest of the money? An abandoned building in some shitty neighborhood in Queens. I don't know any Langston. Huh? Then who hired you? Who? Some guy yeah. called Swan. Oh, oh shit. shit. Yeah, Russo, you were right. Yeah. Reacher. Yep. Come on, man. He has nothing left in his defense, Swan. He's fully. Reacher's gonna squeeze the life out of him. You try anything, we come in hot and you die with the rest of them. That kilo that got lost under the seat of his car? Get going, yeah. stupid. Maybe that yeah. was just him being shady. Do you shady. know what the one thing I was talking about last time was? There was do you remember they killed, they, they were investigating that murder of that guy? He had like uh, drugs on him. Mm. Or he just randomly got. I reckon that was Swan shooting him. Could be. Him. If Swan's really in that building, I'm going to do the same thing I did to that guy. Wrap my hand around his neck and squeeze the truth out of him. <laughs> yep. Hello? It's empty. Anyone? Swan wanted him to meet him at this building. 
And there's no one. Oh, well, there you go. I thought, I thought for a second they'll just kill off any suspects, right? Why would they keep them alive? You're actively shooting people in daylight. Do you think they're going to keep you alive and give you money now? I mean, and, that's the, oh. and that's the end of the episode. Thoughts? A lot happened in that. <laughs> a lot, a lot. The um, Yeah, no, sorry. The thing I was trying to say was uh, during that was with Swan, they've actually shown us three bits. The cocaine thing was in the middle of the kilo. But in, right in the very beginning, I think it was like the first or second episode, I think when they were out. You're talking about the first case when, when um, there was it looked like the, the guy in the floor outside, floor, the, outside the, yeah. the club and they were like, it came out yeah, of the club and Reacher's like, nah, his yeah, pants yeah, yeah. are wet. He was yeah. running and the stamp he's yeah. got from touching some sort of whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I think, I think, I think it could have been from there. That's when they kind of planted the seed. Yeah, then they showed be. the cocaine could thing. Be. Then be. they showed the other stuff. I um, that was a great episode because we got to, we actually got to know now whether Swan's dirty or not. I mean, yes. there is like a zero point zero 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 one percent chance that he's not dirty, but everything points towards Swan. Just, I think it has to be something quite monumental for him to be doing something that he doesn't want to do in order to be clean. He even signed up for the delivery. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I know, I know. It's just, it's just one of those ones. You have hope, isn't it? You're like, oh, well. But also at the same time, you kind of want to see Richard kick his ass. So that, that's yeah. sort of a good thing there as well. Yeah. Um, I genuinely believe they should make a Reacher and Russo spin off of just them. Just, I think it's just, they just, they're always at each other's throats. The like, ex military like, PI and then the New York cop. The, the the New York cops from time to time needs help, so he reaches out yeah. to um uh I forgot our main character Reacher to uh <laughs> to to do stuff that he can't help. because he's not a dirty cop, so he relies on yeah. Reacher and yada yada yada. Yeah, I will gladly watch that show. Oh, I, I will really gladly watch it. that show. I like I like this character. I like Russo as a character. I think I see. Finley was good. Mm. I like the I like the conversation between them, but I think I prefer that. just because fin he gives it back. Fin Finley also you know. gave it back. Finley also was like, oh, "I'll yeah. kick your ass," but he yeah, just yeah. he just looked much tinier than Russo is. Yeah, Russo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, it's quite. It's, I'm just trying to recollect. Quite a lot happened. Obviously, the missiles got stolen. Yeah, Mr. Sticks. Am is is kind of. It'd be interesting to see if he is at the drop. Um, the senator, I don't know, man. I don't, regardless of whether, I reckon he's just trying to cover his own back. Because he like is, said, he is trying to cover his own back because he's essentially passed a thingy to, so yeah, this thing could yeah. be made and he's taken a shortcut. But um, if the bad guys do use this weapon, then it's on him because he, Cut that red yeah. tape kind of thing. He went yeah. past that red tape. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, but um, yeah, he's getting rich off of the back of it. Win win. Do you remember? That's what he said. It was like it's a win win. He's not wrong um, though. If we kill the bad guys, then but then there'll always be bad well, yeah, guys. Yeah, he doesn't have to get his hands dirty for it, right? He can get Richard <clears> to do that. The bad guys um, will always be to... always try to get this kind of technology anyway. So you're always in that, that situation. This is what I think. Do people like? Okay, this obviously is a, this is a TV show, but do people not actually think that anything that you create could fall into that? It can fall into the wrong hands. Yeah. Like you, and you kind of know what you're creating in the first place. Like, no one sits around the table and is like, "Oh, okay." I mean, you know, Let's not make, make this problem. just yeah. in case the bad guys get yeah. hold of it and yeah. use Which it is against us. The red tape. Which yeah. Is the red tape stuff. Um, um, and I generally like he's saying, like, we use it, like to save lives kind of thing you know what i mean by save lives is obviously yeah, 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 take yeah. take a life but yeah. um but he means it, um overall uh i don't know i don't know what Richie should do there i don't i do know yeah, that, a... dirty i do know but i'm surprised he i mean i'm surprised it's a clever i mean it's a very clever move to shoot them while they're firing off the guns to do the 21 gun salute but yeah it gets masked in the same... But, it gets but the thing. it would have been better plan 
if you had better shooters in the first place. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, you're not, you're not. It's just not. Uh... I want to know who hired him. Okay, Swan hired him. So, who are the what they ex ex dirty also, cops? Who, like, who are they? He's thinking about killing four four military people, and you've got two shooters. The moment, the moment the first person goes down, everyone's gonna run. Like no one's gonna just be like, um, that cop thing was interesting. The precinct, it's like half the precinct is is part of New That's Age. That's crazy. Mm. At all the, the entire tempo. security department are basically ex cops because Langston was ex and he's dirty and he's just hired all the dirty ones to take all the security yeah. positions except for Swan, who has yeah um, yeah yeah knowledge of like military um weapons and all that yada yada to help them out man it's just unraveling it's getting a bit it's it's a shitstorm but it's unraveling well it's bigger than like the it's... first season because the first season it was just isolated in margaret this is like massive they're going backwards and forwards all over the country denver boston but it's a big like it's a massive weapon it's a government ties in it um yeah, yeah. It's a big, it, this is much, It's much not as there. slow, I would say this is quite fast moving. I wouldn't say it's as slow as the first one. The first one was a lot more talking, get, introducing Reacher, understanding mm. the character. This is more get shit there was done. A, this yeah, there was a lot done. more character development. This is just like, they just throw you straight into it. Yeah. Um, which I, I prefer a little bit. Do we know like where the, the 650 missiles are going? No. Well, New York. They are going to New York, but... And we need to know where Langston is. The, where's that facility he, Facility he's in, which is like all white, yeah, shiny... Like, there's a, it looks like said, a R&D department or something. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Because when they said, oh, that it's going to be in Denver, it's just like a warehouse. Not like a, you know... But then I suppose, again, which we sport, like we, we see warehouses, we think of like, you know, Iron Man hangers and yeah. you know, like, things like that. But... Yeah, let's, um, let's see what yeah, happens. We don't know the, where, they... where they are. Let's see what happens in the next one. We do need to find Swan. Um, great episode. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. What did you think of the episode and our reaction to it? But other than that, please like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next one. See ya.